This last work out on problem using gas signal method. This is the given power system network. This network consists of three buses. Bus one is a slack bus. Voltage is 1.04 per unit. Bus two is a load bus because P value and Q value is given. Load bus or PQ bus. P is 400 megawatts. Q is 250 megavolt ampere reactive. Bus three is a generator bus or PV bus. Here P is given, V is given. P is equal to 100 megawatts. V three is equal to 1.02 per unit. The reactive power limit is given. Minimum is 100, maximum is 150 megavolt ampere reactive. The question is calculate V2, V3, Q3, and the slack bus real and reactive power. Here base MBA is equal to 100. Q3 minimum is 1 per unit, maximum is 1.5 per unit. First step, we have to form a Y bus matrix. This is the Y bus matrix of this system. Second step, we have to initialize the bus voltages. V1 is equal to 1.04 angle zero degrees per unit. V2 is equal to 1 angle zero degrees per unit. V3 is equal to 1.02 angle zero degrees per unit. Next, we have to calculate P2 and Q2. P2 is equal to PG2 minus PD2. Q2 is equal to QG2 minus QD2. Here generation, real power generation is zero, reactive power generation is zero. Therefore, P2 is equal to minus 0.4 per unit. Q2 is equal to minus J2.5 per unit. Next, we have to calculate the first iteration V2 value. Formula is 1 by Y22 into P2. We know the value minus JQ2. We know the value V2 conjugate. We know the value minus Y21 into V1 initial value minus Y23 into V3 initial value. Substitute all the values in this equation. First iteration V2 value is 0.9592 minus J.0419 per unit. Here acceleration factor value is given 1.1. Therefore we have to find the difference. Calculated value is this. Assumed value is this. So the difference is minus 0.048 minus J.0049. Here the first iteration accelerated value is V2 initial value plus acceleration factor into difference. Initial value is 1 plus J0. Acceleration factor is 1.1. Difference is this zero. We got V2 accelerated first iteration value is. 0.9472 minus J.0539 per unit in rectangular form. In polar form, 0.9487 angle minus 3.2569 per unit. Next, we have to calculate V3. If you want to calculate V3, we have to calculate Q3. Q3 is minus imaginary part of V3 conjugate into Y31 into V1. That is. The initial value plus y32 into v2, the first accelerated value plus y33 into v3 initial value. Substitute all the values in this equation. We got q3 is equal to j.8845 per unit. Here the reactive power limit is given. This is one. This is 1.5. Minimum is one. Maximum is 1.5. Not violated. Hence, bus three acts as a generator bus or a PV bus. Okay. Now we calculate P three. P three is equal to PG three minus PD three. This is one. One minus zero that is equal to one per unit. Because P three value is hundred megawatts. Hundred by hundred that is equal to one. One per unit. Q three is equal to point eight eight four five. Minus zero that is equal to point eight eight four five per unit. Now we can calculate V three. V three is equal to one point not one nine four minus J point not three three seven per unit. Now we have to calculate the difference. Calculated value minus assumed value. Here the assumed value is one and zero that is one point not two plus J zero. Sorry, one point not two plus J zero. Calculated is this. Therefore, the difference is 
minus 6 into 10 power minus 4 minus j point not 337 per unit. V3 accelerated first iteration value is initial value 1.92 plus j0 plus 1.1 into difference minus 6 into 10 power minus 4 minus j point not 337. So V3 accelerated first iteration value is 1.0193 minus j point not 370 per unit in rectangular form in polar form v3 is equal to 1.0110 angle minus 2.0788 degrees now we calculate land bus power p1 minus jq1 is equal to v1 conjugate into y11 into v1 plus y12 into v2 plus y13 into v3 we know all the values substitute all the values in this equation p1 is equal to 3.4559 per unit q1 is equal to 1.6307 per unit we know all the values v1 is equal to 1.04 delta 1 is equal to 0 p1 is equal to 345.59 megawatts Q1 is equal to 163.07 mega volt ampere reactive. V2 is equal to 0.9487. Delta 2 is equal to minus 3.2569 degrees. Here P2 is equal to 400 megawatts. Q2 is equal to 250 mega volt ampere reactive. P3 is equal to 100 megawatts. Q3 is equal to 88.45 mega volt ampere reactive. V3 is equal to 1.0110. Delta 3 is equal to minus 2.0788 degrees. This way we have to work out this problem. Thanks for listening.